Hello. You are nearly a legend around here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Let's do some more duties in. Uh, uh, I've received a letter from Roadier. Lord Indrel Ilvi asks us to spread his words of wisdom to the common Velothi here in Almasthir. Lord Indrel Ilvi has written me saying that in these troubled times he hopes that the temple is doing everything in our power to remind the common Velothi in Almasthir that their foremost duty in life is to serve the tribunal. His letter came with a supplement of proverbs, penned by the good lord himself, which he hopes we will preach to the locals. Now, I've viewed all the proverbs. On the surface, there's nothing wrong with them, but I don't know, Patriarch, they make me uneasy. Well, I'm the Patriarch, I'm the one in charge, and I'm the, I'm the Hortator and the champion of the temple. Listen to this, for, this one, for example. The false scales are imbalanced, the truth will tip them over. A fine aphorism, one might say, but it doesn't seem to... Doesn't seem to be right hassle hollow. Yeah, it depends on how it's interpreted. Interpretation is key. We will do as Inderil LV asks. There's no reason to antagonize him. Oh, oh, really? Is that so? I would like you to hand out these proverbs to the local Velothi. If you ask to explain what the proverbs mean, I want you to be as neutral as possible in your interpretation. You also want to. Sh you might also want to show these to Hetman Lothro. She knows the mind of the common folks better than I do. That's something that I feel like Tamriel Rebuilt does a little bit better than the vanilla game. And Morrowind is the best of all the Elder Scrolls games when it comes to respecting the lore. But still, Tamriel Rebuilt respects the lore more than even Morrowind does. Hmm. Loris Dallin thinks that these problems are Indrel propaganda. Hogwash. Everyone knows that Indrel Ilvi is both a wise and pious man. He cares for the Velothi and his words are clearly meant to comfort and enlighten us. I can't help but wonder if Loris Dallin is a secret Halalu sympathizer. Halalu sympathizer? Whoa, look at this. One cannot bow to the Emperor without turning their back on the three. A house built on stolen land crumbles. It's the house built on ancestral land that thrives. Well, let's tell him this one. Alright, false scales to fall over. What does that mean? <laughs> it means the dishonest people like the Halalu are doomed to fail. Mmm, I don't like House Inderal. So let's just be neutral. One shouldn't commit fraud. Oh, I see. That makes sense. I'm just telling this random person, um, please don't commit fraud, ma'am. I wonder exactly what is keeping Morrowind in the Empire. Maybe not the rich man, his wealth offers no shelter from the storm. To be frank, I wouldn't mind if I was rich. Can you explain what this is supposed to mean? It means that those who are greedy like the Hlalu are doomed. It means wealth doesn't save you from divine judgment. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm telling this homeless guy, hey, you better not get too rich or else Vivek won't be happy. Look at these guys. What are they doing over here? I'm an officer of the Imperial Law. Should I be going into people's houses? Yep. One cannot bow to the Emperor without turning their back on the three. I don't understand what this means. The Emperor lives far away. What does this have to do with me? It means that the Halalu have turned their back on the tribunal. <laughs> Should I just say, interpret it however you wish? I, I would have appreciated an explanation. I'm just a commoner. Is there something you need? You're a layman, not a commoner. Jeez. A house built on stolen land crumbles. It's the house built on ancestral land that thrives. It means those uh, those who are treacherous, like the Hlalu, have forsaken their ancestors. Yeah, let's tell them that it means you should honor your ancestors and never forget your roots. Oh, I see. Well, I've spread your propaganda. I wonder what's keeping... <coughs> I wonder what's keeping Marwind in the Empire. 
Because wasn't the only reason the tribunal, like, surrendered to Tiber Septum because he had the Numidium? Well, he obviously doesn't have the Numidium. How's Uriel keeping the... How's Uriel keeping Morrowind? Oh my god. The faceless Go ones. Faceless men. Ah, let's, let's talk to him. You were the temple, yes? You better tell Laura Stalin that we're not leaving unless he surrenders that bloody Hlalu agent to us. What do you want? Oh, well, looks like there's gonna be bloodshed. Yep, I've given the words of wisdom. And from what I've heard, you didn't make it seem like the temple was on the side of either of the great houses. Thank you for remaining neutral. We have an urgent matter on our hands. As you probably saw on your way in, there are Indoro foot soldiers at our door. They're here for Cal... Kalitia. It seems that Jaller Indo decided to go behind the temple's back. The Indoro reacted to this by trying to illegally detain Kalitia. I'll do my best. Violence is not an option? Are you serious? How is violence not an option? I need the temple's protection. You have a skull of divine intervention? Yep, I have one. Now get the fluff out of here. Scales of profitable imbalance have been added to your inventory. Well, that's settled. Fortify skill merchantile. Is this something I hold? Is it a glove? I don't know. Hey, buddy. We have orders to arrest Kalitia. I'll negotiate with your commander. Kalitia's already gone, so I could send him in there and say, Oh, go ahead, boys. Go on in. Very well. Commander Celsi can be found in the Enderil garrison. Yep, these guys are just doing their jobs. They're just everyday guys. Everyday fellows. Well, you know what? They decided to take that job, so they deserve to die. Nope. No, they don't. They don't deserve to die because they want to... Uh, they want to take a job. They could make money for their families. No way. Athletics is an extremely slow leveling skill. Now granted, we have jumped more places than we've walked. Still, we've, we've played this for... It's gotta be... Like 30 hours. So we're leveling like every hour and a half of walking. Is Halalu... I don't think I like the Halalu either. But they're nothing like the Telvani. Telvani are the best. Redoran sucks. Lalu sucks. Telvani is basically like not even a great house. They don't care about the politics of the other houses. They don't even care about each other. Speak. Speak with me. I help you? You're interrupting my meditations, Outlander. Why the temple would harbor an outlander Halalu agent is beyond me. I've ordered my soldiers to arrest her and bring her here for questioning. No matter what you say, you will not change my mind. <laughs> Leave Kalitia alone or I'll have the Ordinators burn your garrison to the ground and kill you all to the last elf. Why do you need to question her? She may have information about Halalu operations in Almosphere. This isn't about justice, and this is just a convenient excuse to kidnap Kalitia. Kalitia's botched up attempt at a sabotage was indeed a relatively minor crime, and I've understood that Jalarindo has fully recovered from the poisoning, so his cries for justice seem almost laughable. Surely uh, Kalitia did warrant some sort of punishment, especially given what information she might yield to us. Uh, yeah, let's let's give a small threat. Is that information really worth the bloodshed it might cause? Well, I guess we have no choice but to hand her over. Um. If it's us, tell him to leave. We're gonna have to fight him. Let me let me try to. I can't just say okay, go on in. Yeah, let's try it again. Now that he's got 96 disposition, tell him to leave. I'm kind of leave and live or stay and die. Maybe this guy's more reasonable. No, he's not. He gave Kaliti a scroll of divine intervention. Hmm, that's quite clever. Even though I disapprove of his loyalty to the, the foreign god's aid. Um, <laughs> at least the situation has been diffused. There's a scroll for your reward. 
I'll now refer to this matter to the Office of Intercession. They will contact both of the Great Houses and ensure this unfortunate business is put to rest. I like, don't know. I want to go talk to these guys. Oh, they're gone. I should have just done that to begin with. Just talk to her. I'm very happy to. Make I thought about it too. I thought about talking to her, but I'm like, well, she's gone. Let's talk to the to the blokes outside. She has no further duties. Eileen Tella in the Office of Intercession has been asked to speak with you, or has asked to speak with you. Right at the plaza now, boys. I don't know how this is still a thing. Like, they're confirmed. Omsevi are confirmed as false gods. But I'm just sort of like, listen, listen, Vivek. I know you got your whole thing going on, and I want in. Either you get exposed, or I get some of the, uh, you know. Yeah, please give me duties. Let me just talk about Laura S. Dallin. She's not entirely impartial when it comes to the conflict between House Indra and House Lalu. Yeah, uh, if anything, she's shown no favoritism. Uh, if anything, she's been, uh, rejecting, uh, House Indoril's aggression. The active aggression of House Indoril. Yep, duty time. Oh, a letter from Sarenthal. It is a temple infirmary dedicated to St. Saren. It's located north of here on the eastern side of the river, just a mile east of Old Evanhart. North on the eastern side of the river, a mile east of Old Evanhart. Well, that's not just north, if it's a mile east. But, you know what? That's a good opportunity. Good opportunity to go exploring some more. It's gonna force a level up on us. Fluff. Speed. Willpower and luck. We're gonna be upping our luck from now on. Every time we level, we're gonna get a level in luck. But we want more luck. Because we want... I don't know exactly what luck does. It's still raining? Is it always raining here? That was the whole point. I wanted it to stop raining because it was too. the thunder was too loud for me. Ugh! Oh. Wow. That was a mile. How long did it take to get us there? How big are we? How fast are we? Alright, guys, you want me to do something? I don't know. Want me to do something? I need your help. Lavari Uvella has escaped. She's an ordinator of war, but went mad after stumbling into a cursed trap set by heretics, and now she's escaped. I don't think she's made it very far. She must be somewhere close to the infirmary. I just hope she hasn't fallen into the gorge. Find her and bring her back. She's not armed or particularly aggressive, but please don't upset her. Her mind is wounded. Oh, we'll calm her down, alright. Hello? He hopes she hasn't fallen into the gorge. Well, I guess there's only one place to look. In the gorge. Whoa! Well, I don't think she's in the gorge this way. Let's look around this corner. No. Nope. Not in the gorge. Stuff like this where you have to look for someone could basically take forever. Like, this could go on indefinitely. We found some sort of monolith. Or something. Some sort of landmark. I'm stuck here, of all places. Hmm. What the heck is this? Valk? Perhaps she's taken refuge in this house. Nope, no one here. Look at this thing. Is it like a lizard? It's got a long tongue. Nope. This has got to be her. Man, she doesn't look right. Are you the one I've heard talk about? Yep, I'm the one. 
You are not a god, but you will be in my dreams. Please return to the infirmary. What? No. I said I want you to come with me back to Sarenthal. Oh, wait. What's that? You want me to pick you up and throw you down to the gorge? <laughs> yup, that's what I said. Now hurry up and throw me. What an unusual and horrible request. Why would you want that? Actually, what I really want is for you to return to the infirmary. Hmm, I don't know. It sounded an awful lot like you wanted me to throw you into the gorge. You should have your tongue checked. It's clearly playing tricks on you. You're right. Oh no. What do you think it is? I don't know. It feels funny. Man, oh, yep. Take a look at my tongue. Uh, she peeks inside. <laughs> I have some bad news. It is evident that you're, in fact, insane. Your tongue is not normal. It's actually a tiny pinkish slug that's reciting poetry backwards. I suspect this is due to some form of Daedric mischief. But don't worry, I'll rip your tongue right out. Just hold still. Oh, seriously? These summons are going down. What the? All my strength is being sapped. That's bad news. We have... Our strength is only 118 now! Let's see, will she chase us back to the infirmary? Quick, help. I need help with my tongue. My tongue's going nuts! Is she running away from us? Oh, let's use that scroll. Welcome, friend. Are you the one I've heard talk Only about? demons will spit on your face. Return. Come back with me to Sarenthal. Your mind is sick. I just want you to follow me. The tribunal wants you to come back to the infirmary. Follow me. You have to trust me. Let's see, let's tell her that we want to be slammed against the rocks. It would probably be some, sound something like Karanch Splash, Bones Breaking, Blood Splattered Everywhere. Yep, please do it. Please, I need you to throw me into the... No matter what we say, she wants to fight us. No matter what. Because we have no choice. Seriously?! I just tried punching her in the face to get her attention. Imagine that, being expelled from the temple just for punching someone in the face. Well, looks like we have to solve our problems with violence. That's how you solve all the problems. Alright, let's save here in case things go south. Talk to me now. Return to the infirmary. Come back with me to Sarenthal. There's something wrong with my tongue. I have some bad news. It's evident that you're insane. What? So there was a specific... ...path to get her to... That's what I thought was gonna happen. That she'd be like, oh, okay, perfect. Let's go to the infirmary. But then she's like, don't worry, I'll rip it out. It's just that specific, specific path. In order to get that result. I guess I could have just kept trying. Until I got it. But I'm glad we had, we, well. I'm as glad as you can be that we resolved it without violence. Talk to me now. Yes, I found her. You found her and brought her back? Excellent. What does Alms of the Intervention take us? To Vivek? Oh, shoot. We might as well uh, unload some of our treasure. Get rewarded for it. I should mark Almas Theer in that case. If I kill Vivek, will I be expelled from the temple? 
it's strange being back on Vardenfell. You sort of get that sense after uh, you go away on a vacation, you come back to where you live. Like even though you're not at your house, you still feel home when you start recognizing things around you. Don't we have like solid gold or something? He doesn't buy solid gold. Dang it. You look the so we'd use in the mages guild. Yes, let's just take the oath. Yep, now we're members. We're members of the mages guild, just for the heck of it. Let's see what we can go. Talk at your leisure. Let's where's Narcissus? Whoa, Narcissus is in the middle of nowhere. Welcome. Wow. Narcissus looks like it's a bit un yeah, we we won't go to Narcissus yet. Bon Malor. Oh, is it snowing? Wow! I love this place. Oh, what is this? There's not a lot here, but I just got to go look at this. Is that a castle of some sort? Oh, this is great. We can't go in. But still, I can't wait for this place to be... Wow, this is a nice place. This is my favorite place. Without a doubt. I love this place. Love it. Wow. Look at those rocks, dude. <laughs> this is definitely an impressive place. I'm a big fan. Uh, let's get more duties next time. We've explored some more of the mainland. Look at all this over here. We've gone in this tiny section. I want to find out what's here. I want to find out what's here. Although I have a feeling it's not going to be a whole lot. I still sort of want to do it. Like all this here. What's over here? What's on this island? But, like, look at this. This is, like, strangely spider-shaped. Is there something there? But we'll stick to the cities, because there's things to do there. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. For now. But we'll do some more exploring next time.